Hey there guys, um, welcome to another uh, tutorial on Java development. Uh, this one is going to be actually pretty extensive, um, but it's definitely going to have a really cool outcome, and I think you guys will like it, uh, so stick around because we're going to do something pretty sweet. Um, I'd like to say first that I have noticed that the volume on some of the older videos are um, not amazing, so I have readjusted the microphone settings along with the audio settings, so this is just a test. Let's hope it sounds great, uh, and let's get started. You might want to turn down your volume if I am too loud. Um, but anyway, so let's get started. Uh, we are going to import a lot, um, and before I start importing things, let me tell you what we're going to make. Um, we are going to make a image downloader and display. So what that means is you can enter the URL of the image you want to download and then the image will be displayed on a GUI. And we've been working with GUIs a lot so you guys will understand that. And we've downloaded images before so this shouldn't be too much new material. Um, you will see a little bit of new uh, references but I'll explain them as we go along. Um, so let's get started. The first thing we want to import is well, import Java X dot image IO dot image IO with capitals and import uh, what is it? Java dot AWT dot image dot uh, hmm. oh, lowercase image dot buffered image and then import java.io.file import and before I import the other things uh, let me tell you that if you are getting overwhelmed already by all these imports that's okay um, you don't need to worry uh, and I will really explain everything that's going on so don't get worried by all of these imports uh, you may seem overwhelmed but don't worry about it everything will be fine just uh, stick with me here for this tiny bit. And then import java.net.malformed URL exception. And then import java.net.url. And import, lastly, java.util dot scanner which you know and love all right now we've got all these ridiculous imports in and we can forget about them um, they just allow us to use what we need to use so don't worry about them we're done with those um, let's get to the part where we actually start coding this um, what we're gonna do is we are going to uh, first declare our variables um, and so we do that by typing, and I'm going to add comments along the way. So slash declare variables. And then, so we're going to create a first variable called buffered image, and we're going to name it image, and we're going to set it to null, which means nothing in programming language. Um, buffered image is just, well, an image, which is just like its name. Um, and we can store image files in there. And then we're going to create a URL, and we will name this URL URL. Um, and URL pretty much means, well, you know what it means. It's yahoo.com, google.com, facebook.com, etc. We're just going to create a URL that we can access in different places. And then we're going to create a scanner object, which you know about. So let's do scanner, scan equals new, oops, that's too many spaces, equals new, scanner, system, dot in and then we are going to take in our URL and that means we are going to uh, scan what the user entered so let's make a comment take in URL and let's write system out println enter the image URL below so we can tell the user where to enter and then we're going to do um, string image URL equals scan dot next line 
and you guys know what this means it means we're going to take in a string from the console and this string will be well what the URL is so if I entered uh, HTTP colon slash slash imgur dot com slash some something that could be an image uh, or something else really but what we're gonna do is we're gonna take in the image and then we're gonna make a try catch statement so what we're gonna do is we're gonna type try and then below it we're gonna type catch and then we're going to catch the exception and then we're gonna put some stuff inside this try catch statement we're going to put URL equals new URL and then image URL now um, what this means is uh, we have set our URL to be equal to image URL which is our string um, which we took in from the console so now if I entered uh, an imgur link it would say, okay, I understand you want this imgur link to be assigned to URL, and that's what I'm going to do. And then we're going to create, um, well, we're going to read the image from that URL. So what we do is we do image equals new, uh, actually, no, image equals image io dot read, and then read the URL. So what this does means, what this does is, it will read the um, image that we put in from the URL. Um, so let's say we had a picture of a cat. It would read if we had a picture of a cat uh, on this URL. It would read that cat image, and it would assign it to the variable image. And then what we're going to do is we're going to do two. Uh, we're going to do an if statement. So let's do if. And this part will seem a little confusing, and I'll explain it once I'm done typing. So if exclamation point new file, and then c uh, quotations c colon slash slash temp slash slash downloaded image dot jpeg dot exists, then do this. So let me break this down for you. If you guys, or you should already know, that an exclamation point in programming means uh, if this is not true. So what we're pretty much saying is if this file, which is located here, does not exist, do this. Um, and so uh, what we're pretty much doing is we're creating a new file, and the file is located at C, temp, downloaded image, .jpg, um, and then we're checking if this file exists and you guys might not be familiar with file but file is actually another import and that's why we imported it up here at the top but uh, all you need to know is that we're checking if the file here exists now let me show you something I have created a folder inside my C drive I have named the folder temp uh, in order for you guys to follow along with this tutorial I'd ask that you create a folder named temp inside your C drive. And that's pretty much all you need to do. Um, and so once we have checked if this file exists, we're going to do something. So let's make a comment. If file does not exist, create a new one. And so what we can do is we can do image.io.write and then image uh, jpeg and new file c colon slash slash temp slash slash downloaded image dot jpeg okay so what we're doing here is we are going to write this image which is our, um, uh, what we used as an example was our cat picture. So what we're going to do is we're going to write our cat picture uh, as a JPEG file to our downloaded image.jpg. And that's pretty much what it means. Um, and that's all you need to do for this. Now we can create an else statement. And we can do that right here. So this would be if file 
does exist, delete the old one and create a new one. So what we're going to do is just like this little description is we're going to delete our old file and create a new one. So what we have to do for that is we have to type new file C temp downloaded image dot jpeg and then dot delete and what this does is it will look for our file which is located in C temp downloaded image and it will delete it and then we can write this file again and because I don't and because I am lazy I will just copy this and what we'll do here is paste it and it will um, download and place that image right back in there. So let's break this down one quick time, one more time. What we're doing is we're checking if the file uh, does not exist. If it does not exist, we're going to create the file, which our file is an image, and we are going to write the image to C temp, and we're gonna name it downloaded image. If the file does not exist, we are going to delete the old one and create a new one. So what we did was we told uh, Java that our file is located here and we're going to delete it. And then we're going to write the new one in the same location. So it's pretty much saying if you have, say, an old image in there that you don't need anymore, we can just write over it. Um, and if you happen to not have the file there, then we're going to create a new one. Uh, and that's pretty much how that works. And then we're going to catch our exception. Uh, at the bottom of this try catch statement, we're going to write system out println and error occurred. Uh, that's probably spelled wrong. All right, excuse my disgusting spelling. Um, and then we're going to write below it try again. And now here's the last thing we're going to do we want to create a while loop and you guys know what a while loop is it's pretty much saying while this is true not true etc do this so we want to make sure that if someone enters an incorrect URL we want to help them fix it we want to say you can try again you don't have to restart the program so what we can do is we can create a while loop so in this while loop we can say while um, try again equals equals true do this and we will surround it with squiggly braces now the reason the compiler is complaining is because try again has never been created so let's create it right now let's do boolean try again and set it by default equal to true and so now we have our while loop set up and at the bottom of our caught exception we can just type try again equals true so they can try again and at the bottom of our try uh, regular try statement we can do try again equals false so what this pretty much means is if an error occurred like an incorrect URL was entered we can try again and so it'll restart but if you downloaded the image correctly and everything went as planned, you don't need to try again. You've already downloaded your image. So that's all you need to do. Let's organize this really quickly by pressing uh, Control A to select all and Control I to indent it. And now it looks a bit neater. Um, and we should be good to go. So what we're going to do is our last, uh, not last, but almost last thing, is we are going to actually paint the image we downloaded and we did this uh, earlier, and it was pretty easy. All we have to do is type image, uh, my image equals toolkit dot get default toolkit dot get image, and then our image's location. And I remember that we put it inside C slash slash temp slash slash downloaded with a lowercase d downloaded image dot jpeg okay and then since we've told um, 
my image, what the image is, we can display it on screen. So we can do g dot draw image. Oops, that's a bit much. We don't need that much. Uh, g dot draw image. And inside here, we can put my image and set its coordinates to 100 by 100 and the class this. So this class. And that is all we need to do except for one thing I keep forgetting. We need the uh, main method to know exactly where to start. So we can make it start in download image method. So let's call that method by typing main dot download image. So here's how the program is going to run. When the program starts, it's going to go here and it's going to say, okay, I understand I need to go to the method download image. So it's going to jump down here and it's going to say, okay, we've created a variable, uh, try again, and we're going to start running. We're going to look at our declared variables. We're going to take in the URL from the scanner. So for example, our image from imgur.com. Then we will go and try this. We will assign the variable URL to our image URL, which we took in from the scanner. We will then assign our image to the image we read from the URL. And then we will check two things. We will check if the file does not exist, we'll create a new one. And we will create it in C, temp, and we'll create it as downloaded image. If the file does exist, we'll delete the old one and create a new one in that same location. And then we'll create we will delete the image in the same location and then we'll, cre we'll create that image over again. And then we will say try again equals false because we don't need to try again as we've already downloaded the image. And then if an error occurs at any time we'll say an error occurred please try again. And then we'll say try again equals true. So that's the rundown of this program and I'm excited to run it. So let me see if I have the right thing pasted here. Nope. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab an image from the internet. So let's do this one and let's grab it. And here we go. So let's run the program. Let me pull up the console. It says enter image URL below. So we can enter it right here. Here is our image. And did you notice uh, or well, obviously you noticed, but once I had entered that URL, our little image popped up right in this little box. And that's because of all this code we wrote. And so that's, a, uh, you know, that's really it um, to this tutorial. Um, and I'm honestly, if you are still watching this at this time, I want to thank you a ton because this was a long one, but definitely worth it. Um, but before we go, I want to try one more thing. Let's rerun this. It says enter image URL below. So you, we have this image URL, right? Let's erase some of it so it's incorrect. So where it says enter image URL below, let's enter a broken image and press enter. You'll see that it pops up because, well, we have um, our image, although it doesn't exist. So let's break this a little bit more. Let's enter the image URL below, but just enter, hi there, I'm not a URL. It'll say, an error occurred, try again. And then we can enter the correct uh, URL if we wanted to and try again. So that just goes to show uh, how this program is working, and that is working very well. And really that's it for this tutorial. I'd like to thank you guys for sticking around for those 20 minutes. I hope you definitely learned something. Um, I will post all of this um, to Pastebin so you can take a look. Um, and well, that's pretty much it. I'll see you in the next one. See ya.